and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Sultai food. And we are getting um, really into the food synergies here with this Sultai food deck because we had a donation deck here to build a deck around Trail of Crumbs. That's right, we got four Trail of Crumbs in here and the card advantage this card can provide. So this is, if you're not too familiar with this card, man, that food actually looks pretty good there on that art. But anyway, one in a G for an enchantment. When it ETBs, you get to make a create a food token. And then when every time we sacrifice a food, we can pay one generic mana and then look at the top two cards of our library and reveal a permanent card and put it into our hand. So every time that we um, sacrifice a food, pay one, look at the top two, take one of them, as long as it's a permanent. That should be that should happen all the time because the only cards that are not permanents are the four once upon a times. So everything else in the deck are permanents. All right, so that's step one. We want a lot of permanents to be able to grab. And step two is we want a lot of food to be able to sacrifice with Trail of Crumbs. So, of course, the, the best food generator and food sacrificer is, of course, Oko. And, you know, we pair Oko with Gilded Goose. So, like, that, that part, like, right across the middle there, Goose, Trail of Crumbs, Oko. Those all work together very well. If we're also making a bunch of food tokens with those, we want our Wicked Wolves, of course, in here. Um, you know, that's that's just kind of part of like the, the normal food strategies that you see with like Simic and Bant and all that kind of stuff. However, I want to go even more on the food strategy. So we're going Soul Ties. So we get to play Cauldron Familiar whenever we sack a food. Or we, sorry, we can sack a food to return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. And then, of course, with Witch's Oven, where we can sacrifice a creature to create a food token. So we can get that food synergy going on as well. So, yeah, we have just a ton of food synergies going on with all of those. All right, so then we have to just round out the deck. We're going to round out the deck with a bunch of Once Upon a Times, because that just helps fix our mana, helps find Gilded Goose, find Cauldron Familiar, um, later on in the game, you know, find Wicked Wolf or Murderous Rider if we need removal. And later on in the game, we can go grab Krasis with it as well. And then, um, you know, Krasis, of course, at the top end. That I just talked about our removal spells with our creatures. And then our, our Planeswalkers also at the top end. Garrick, Liliana, Vraska. Um, even the six mana Planeswalker should be pretty easy to hit with Trail of Crumbs getting extra permanence. Those permanents are going to be lands a good amount of the time. We should be able to hit our land drops. Having all these food tokens um, hopefully means that we get to have enough life to survive against aggro, get to a later game, have Liliana, Garrick, Krasis, and so on. So yeah, this de this deck's probably going to be pretty fun to play. Um, you know, we got our, our normal Simic good good cards with Goose, Oko, Wolf, then Cauldron, Familiar, Witch's Oven, and let's see how let's see how good Trail of Crumbs is. We got four Trail of Crumbs. That's going to be exciting. All right, sideboard is where we get all of our spells. Lots of lots of different removal spells. Um, you know, Veil of Summer if we need to protect. Noxious Grasp against the other green decks. Legion's End and Trophy whenever we those cards are applicable. Another Murderous Rider that we can grab with Trail of Crumbs. And then in, if we're playing against Control decks, if we're playing against the late game decks, we got a couple more of these Planeswalkers that we can bring in. All right, here we go. Let's donation decks we play till we win five or lose two. Let's see how good is Trail of Crumbs. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this does against aggro. What decks did you face when we lost with Simic Flash? Uh, our honestly, like the hardest thing with Simic Flash was our mana base, but we lost to uh, uh, we lost to. Rakdos Sacrifice and Selesnya Adventures. Both of those, both of those decks are are kind of tough matchups with them having one drops that are really really impactful. And then I don't remember what our other loss was. Okay, I only have one Black Source. I honestly don't really want. I I wanted Goose or Cat. I don't really want any of these, honestly. I'm going to take the Fable Passage. I 
I'm just gonna take the land. Yeah, I really thought about going. I really thought about going four color with this and playing Mayhem Devil. Like, just, just basically just splashing for four Mayhem Devil and then also playing, like, one Corvold. But ultimately... Decided to... Just stick with the three color. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. Yeah, I think I think we lost to a Simic deck or a Sultai deck, also. Yeah, maybe that was our other loss with Simic. Rakdos. I think a little merriment is in order. Rakdos control. Alt delete. So yeah, we, we basically have the, the cat oven combo if we just have Raska, Oko, cat. <laughs> you don't really need the, the oven part. So I'm sure they want to take Oko, but because if they take Oko, Golgari Queen just destroys the prison realm, they kind of have to take the Golgari Queen. All right, so Mardu enchantments. I do. I am gonna be playing Mardu enchantments tomorrow. For best of one day Monday. Got a Mardu enchantments deck. I'm gonna be playing. So I was thinking I was gonna be attacking, but I guess it doesn't make sense to attack. With the Revenge of the Ravens, because we only we're only attacking for one. Rise and shine. Welcome to the feast. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, no, no extra room for more donation decks today. I see how it is. Yeah, that's that's all we've had today. Still get to draw cards because of Liliana. All right, they scooped it up. Too much card advantage. We didn't even get to the trail of crumbs. So let's get these trophies in here to destroy enchantments. Um, maybe get an extra Garrick, extra Liliana, less Wicked Wolf. Wicked Wolf can be difficult to kill though with like normal sweepers. I'll get rid of a once upon a time. Maybe I'll just cut two once upon a times. I feel like the games are going to go long and we're going to have we're going to be able to hit enough land drops and everything and and once upon a time doesn't hit our planeswalkers. But they get they get the cats. Cuz yeah, I I don't have like with taking out the murderous riders. I mean, I'm looking at I guess I have the geese also. So 4 8 11 14 creatures.
I don't. I mean, I think they're they're probably winning with like merriment. We'll just go this way. <laughs> you play Leyline of the Void in your sideboard for Cauldron Familiar. Doesn't Cry the Carnarium just exile Cauldron Familiar for good? Nah, we don't need Nissa. You don't have don't have room for Nissa with the Cauldron Familiar Witches Oven Trail of Crumbs combo. Yeah, Leyline does work on Esper Dance for sure. <laughs> yeah, opponent too annoyed. Yeah, can't blame him. All right, Trail of Crumbs time. <laughs> Y'all are like, I don't blame opponent for the scoop. Draw a land. Yay. Hallowed Fountain. We can probably... We can probably shock a couple of times against Hallowed Fountain. Um, um I'm not, I'm, Kind of a waste of a scorn against a cat, because cats always come back. Wow, the trailer crumbs makes like the most delicious looking food. I'm not sure exactly how to answer your question, Moonbreaker. Sorry, I'm late. Um. So if they they bounce anything. The Teferi dies. That's more like it. I could. Seriously. What is going on with people? Yeah, the cats have nine lives. Okay, so <laughs> that stuck's way too strong. Um, we're playing against Esper Control. I mean, Veil of Summer is amazing. I'll take Liliana and Garrick also, but then I I don't know, I don't know what to cut. We kind of have too many good cards. Like maybe. Maybe we cut Once Upon a Time, because then we have Veil of Summers instead. Maybe I just get rid of Wicked Wolves completely. Golgari Queen. Oh, Golgari Queen's awesome. Because I think we should probably keep some Planeswalker removal, so we should probably keep like these Murderous Riders. Maybe we just take out Wicked Wolves. I'll get the extra rider in there. 
Yeah, just play cat trailer crumbs, get the auto win. That's all I gotta do. Yeah, the food just looked too good. Hey, pasta boy. Keep. There aren't there aren't great budget decks right now. But what I'd recommend I'd recommend playing like a mono color deck. So like mono mono red or mono blue would be the two that I'd recommend. They have Leyline of the Void? Really? Huh. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Well then. Trailer crumbs too strong. That was like the strangest match. Trail of Crumbs. It wasn't the Yoko, it was the Trail of Crumbs. <laughs> yeah, deck wins by turn three very consistently. <laughs> We're not even going to know if this deck's any good because our opponents are just conceding immediately. Ripper, Esper Control, best of three, ranked. All right, awesome. Do you want? Is there any specific time, day or time slot that you want me to play? Play that one, Ripper. Everything's open besides today. I don't think I really want to shock for Witch's Oven. Plus, you never know, we may draw once upon a time here that we get to cast for free. <laughs> you want to donate Esper as well? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Tuesday, second slot. All right. Good. I will Tuesday, invert the world to watch kings grovel. Got you down. Surely you must be famished. I guess I had some of these for Sunday. I can cross out now. So we played them. Think up a fun Chandra's elk fire. I invite you to change your ways. Where's my trail of crumbs? I 
And my opponent's playing foods and elks, so I'm, I'm playing food and elk. We're, we're playing a mirror match, really. Just... This is really a mirror match. All food and elk. I feel like this is a pretty good combination. The Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, combo with Oko. Is there anything that Oko that isn't better with Oko, though? I guess everything's just better with Oko. When Cat, Oven, and Noko come together to create the Alpha deck. Um, let's we make one of our food into a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. We had to be able to block their elks with our elks. They got elks and foods. I got elks and foods and a cat. If a red source. You don't you don't have red sources. Why would you put that in your in your green elk deck? Thorbran, Elk of Redfell. Your new look is enchanting. Foxes. <laughs> I hunt would stay on the trail. This Oko card is so brutal. <laughs> And we'll just win the game. 18 turns later. Okay, we didn't get Trail of Crumbs, unfortunately. But the rest of our hand was like perfect. Fortunately. So we'll get a couple trophy. Basically bring in our removal. 65. We'll cut our six mana walkers. So this is 63. Hmm. Maybe we don't play three rider. I don't know, to have too many good cards all the time. I'm gonna bring in some stuff sideboarding, but I don't want to get rid of anything. I guess we get rid of one trail of crumbs. Cause it is kind of slow. Yeah, we got all 75 have card styles too, so that's awesome. <laughs> the meta is like 90% elks. Mm, maybe I take out two of these. It's not something I want to take out.
but I think I mean it is just just something that takes a little while. You know, like we're on we're against mono red on the draw. We shouldn't have a slow card like that. Well, too many of them. So all we need to do is draw the first one. Oh, this will do. I'm gonna fable fable passage turn one. Go grab island. Temple of Malady, turn two. Play Witch's Oven. I think that's what I want to do because I like shuffling the library and then scrying, you know, getting the scry card down to the bottom. Because, like, if you, like, scry something you don't want down to the bottom and then you shuffle immediately, like, the next turn, it's like, what's the point of, what's the point of that scry? Wicked Wolf and Witch's Oven works well because if if you play the wolf, let's say you have no food in play, all right? You got nothing in play, but you just so you play the wolf to fight something, but you need you need an extra food. You can sack the Wicked Wolf to get that food that you need to sacrifice to the Wicked Wolf. You can you can sack it and create a food. I'm being sarcastic there. Don't don't sacrifice your wicked wolf. Normally. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. <clears throat> we need a blocker. I invite you to change your ways. Which is elk. Elk, I should have made clues. No. Which is elk. Why do you cross me? <clears throat> mm, you're a tricksy one. It's not poison. Trust me. No, Oko is not really vulnerable to anything. And mono red opponent is missing land drops. All right, do they have the shock? Quite the nibble. No shock. One bite, and all your cares are gone. <laughs> Hoko's only vulnerable to concede. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Yeah, this is so this is why no one plays red anymore. Yeah. It's it's really tough playing red. All these food tokens. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fires. It's pretty rough.
All right, so Chandra's happy as a Hellion. No, don't, you don't have mana. Don't do that. No, don't do that. You have to spend mana. Oh, poor opponent. No. Remember this one? Well, at least they hopefully that you know they, they learn something and know not to do that the next match. Yep, that's how that's how we learn. I have done that multiple times with Teferi in play, you know, thinking like play like Teferi's in play, I play Chandra, I minus, think I'm gonna like play my Chandra's Triumph to kill their Teferi, and it it counts as casting as instant speed, so it doesn't let you. I've done that multiple times with Teferi in play, so it wasn't even just like the first time I learned it, did that multiple times. Bad land. Go down to the bottom. Find me a trail of crumbs. Trail of crumbs. Now, where's the trail of crumbs? Uh, it costs six. Get out of here. Where you got six drop? So do they have turn two, Oko? All right. Have a good night. Gerlander. <laughs> if you want if you want this deck list, um, exclamation point deck. Gets it to you there. Midnight Rider. There's Trail of Crumbs. Cool. I need kinda wanted you last turn. Open your heart to the magic that dance one bite, and all your cares are gone. Quite the nibble. Yeah, I mean that's basically what standard is right now. It's just Oko mirrors. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah this is the fastest three zero we've had. I mean it was, we've just had some opponents that have just conceded, <laughs> very fast. Um yeah I, I'm not sure when I'm going to play that yet honestly Ollie, um. But yeah. But yeah, I am planning on on doing the Demir Affinity Forge, making it, trying Oko in it with, with Sultai. I'm not sure when. Um, into my face and put on your true shape. I kind of want to turn the priest into a 3-3. Three, three. You know, priest of the forgotten elks. But that means that Oko dies <clears throat> with having the multiple 3-3s three, in play. Down, down, down. 
Yeah, like these these are both definitely targets that I, I want to elk. I definitely want Midnight Elk and Priest of Forgotten Elks. All right, so just cash in those in, draw a couple cards. I'll cash mine in, get a feud. I only pick targets that are good. Don't flatter Your expectations yourself. are exhausting. So Krasis being a 3-3 can hopefully kill the Golgari Queen this next turn. So you say that Oko should be limited to one or two copies per deck list. Think of how... Like, if you don't like turn two Oko right now, think about how upset you'll be at when your opponent can only play one Oko in their deck and they play Oko on turn two. And, you know, just, just win the game with their their one Oko that they play on turn two. That'd be pretty frustrating. Ooh, sack the priest. Sack the priest. Sack the priest. Sack the priest. <laughs> Yay. Trailer Chromes going infinite. I wanted another Trailer Chromes because if they if they Golgari Queen kill my trail, I wanted a backup trail. So now we can pay four mana to basically draw two cards. It doesn't actually go infinite. I was I was saying that because we used a trail trigger to grab another trail. So that that was my reference, but it doesn't it's not actual infinite. I guess I should shuffle back Garrick. Cuz if I if I get if I would have grabbed Vraska, then their Vraska kills my trail of crumbs, then I don't have <clears throat> I don't have a trailer crumbs anymore. An unfortunate casualty. There you go, Kendis. You got four salt scoops in a row with some McFlash. Good job. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly why. I 
why the food is different artwork and stacking. Wicked Wolf's a good one. Yeah, that's why we need this. Yeah, the ovens are so much damage, which is why we need the Wicked Wolf. Need to kill this Mayhem Devil. Yeah, Krasis is still good enough without Nissa. You don't you don't need Nissa for Krasis. Like still just playing Krasis for this kind of mana is still just fine. Uh the two fight, yeah, so the wolf fights. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, them having Mayhem Devil in this mirror is pretty clutch. Really, this game was Vraska killing my Oko. That was the difference in this game. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. I mean, obviously, I mean, I guess it was also just Mayhem Devil. I mean, without that, we were going to be just fine until the Mayhem Devils. So I guess that's not actually true of Verasa killing Oko being the difference. It's really them playing Mayhem Devil being the difference. Uh, no, my own cat's not gonna do it. That my own cat doesn't doesn't help me because of them having mayhem devil. I need I need a removal spell for mayhem devil. That's the only thing that can that can help me.
All right, did not find it. All right, need all the cards that kill Mayhem Devil. So Lilian doesn't do a great job of killing Mayhem Devil. No, Noxious Grasp doesn't do anything. I don't. I don't care about the Vraska. I mean, I I do care about Vraska, I guess, but not enough to play Noxious Grasp. Take out Goose. Goose is just going to die to pings. And try this. Goose does make Veil of Summer better, though. Legion's Zen for the cat doesn't work too well. So they have a witch's oven, they get to just sacrifice it. Not sure if taking out Goose was correct. I mean, it's most likely it's not on. I think on the draw, I'm definitely I'm I'm gonna be putting the goose back in on the draw to because you, know, you need you need to be faster with your mana on the draw for sure. Well, I was doing that to, to look at the top two for a land, but there was no land in the top two. So that wasn't great. No land for my opponents either. Chances my opponent has a Vraska in hand? I don't know. Pretty decent. They didn't play a land. They got all spells over there. I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, Assassin's Trophy, 
Vraska, that kind of stuff. Probably not Mayhem Devil, because they assume they would have played Mayhem Devil first. Trophy, destroy target permanent and opponent controls. I cannot. I cannot trophy my own uh, cauldron familiar. Hey, Hardy. All right, so with my cauldron familiar dying here, we have the ability to That card's really good. We have the ability to sacrifice this food to the Cauldron Familiar, so not spending two mana, so then I can spend the two mana on the two Trail of Crumb triggers and be able to dig pretty far for land this next turn. No, this is not Brawl. Jam Oil, thanks for the resub there with Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. Sub number 13 of the day. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Deft. I should have waited on Assassin's Trophy. For, I should have responded to their first sacrifice. They could... They could have just gone to their turn, though. But it's not likely they were going to do that. So, yeah, I should have waited. But they, they got this one pretty well in hand, I would assume. I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe not. Maybe I can get there. I don't know. Getting stuck on all these lands for so long is, is rough. How does that even make sense? The worst thing to target. I'm having another oven is is bad. I, I wanted to Golgari Queen their oven. Just 
Just don't have mana. So obviously, of course, I'm doing this main phase to try to look for mana. So I kind of need to get an island here to have a blue source, but I also kind of, you know, may need to actually cast Veil of Summer also. Sacrifice something. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Sacrificing a land? That's so bold. I like the fleet foxes. I do not I do not know the fleet foxes. Is that a is that a band? I do not know of them. I could have sat around and dealt I could have I could have wasted a lot more time the first game. Maybe I should have. Oh, it is taking forever. I only pick targets that interest me. Lucky you. Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't protect there. I, I should that was a bad veil of summer timing, because that doesn't protect my Vraska later on.
<clears throat> I should have played the Vraska first and then fail a summer. Oh, the day is yours. Check them out. We're going to move on, play a different match. All right, so in Sacrifice Mirrors, looks like Mayhem Devil and Corvold are kings. My main mirror breaker is Oko, and I only had the Oko in play one time, and it got Vraskoed immediately. I mean... It's the same. It's like the same thing as using Brasco to kill Mayhem Devil. It's not really a difference there. I mean, it's. I guess we have a wolf in play. Uh, let's see. Cutting the Guild of Goose, though, obviously really, really backfired with us not having mana ever. Why is that dragon important there? It draws lots of cards. It's going to draw like four cards. Maybe five. Like immediately, like that turn before I untapped. How many, how many cards they wanted to draw, they got to draw by playing that dragon. Because every time they sacrifice something, they draw a card. And they were going to have the ability to sacrifice a ton of things. With the double oven and the cat and the Vraska. Where's our lands at? Okay, we got a land. Oven is great. That's not a land. They already got six mana. I'm so jealous. This is a pretty nice combination, though. Okay, now I gotta find Murderous Rider to get rid of this Liliana. I don't think it's worth it to play 
any of these cards. You know, play Wicked Wolf here and fight something with them having just the Liliana in play anyway. All right, Murderous Rider, where you at? Guess I should be doing this on step. Necromancer has a nice ring to it. I want that card. Death is in light. So doing this right now, of course, we can draw a couple of cards. Got to keep this Liliana from ultimating. Ugh, looks like you're on your own now. Yeah, putrid, but effective. So, like, I could have gone Krasis. <laughs> Good help is easy to find. Oh, that have been better. Basically, like the thing is, is Krasis is in the air. Maybe, maybe I should have just played that instead of playing Liliana. I mean, they they would have just murdered Rider. They would have killed the Krasis anyway. So it's not like it would have made much of a difference. No murderous riders.
Yeah, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have cracked the fabled passage at the beginning of that turn. I should have just done that first. We would have grabbed the swamp and and because we knew all those cards at the bottom that we were putting there with trailer crumbs weren't murderous rider. So I should I should not have shuffled. Should have kept all those cards at the bottom. Uh, why is Lily on ultimate each opponent? Why can't it be target opponent? And then we'd be able to Veil of Summer it. It's veiled and feel really bad. Oh, I know. I know. Hey, Demi. That is true. It would feel really bad. I'm going to take those out. Playing like green, black aggro. Trail the Crumbs got to draw so many cards there. It looked pretty good. Honestly. Okay. Maybe I maybe I should just not have Krasis in this this deck and just have the six mana planeswalkers instead. Maybe four Murderous Rider main deck. Murderous Rider has consistently been a card that I've been digging for. All right, well, good opener for the opponent. Double goose. I don't love that play. Playing the other goose there. That's not the worst. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Surely you must be famished. Please don't kill my Oko. <laughs> Triple honk. Moldervine Reclamation. That card is sweet. I should have that card. Imagine that with, with Cauldron Familiar. It's pretty busted.
surely you see the humor here. Am I just gonna lose to Molder Vine Reclamation? Do you think one of the relevant factors of how dominant both Nissa and Oko are currently is the lack of creatures with first strike on them? No, not at all. No. They do... They do a fine job against creatures with first strike. into my face and put on your true shape. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that elks don't have first strike. Oh, you're saying like for the other side. Yeah, like... Oko is just so good against creatures. Like, an, an ability like first... Like, basically, you just have to have haste. Like, haste is like the only thing... Oh yeah, I kind of no, honestly honestly I just didn't really even think about the minus five. I should have just minus fived and just stolen their Midnight Reaper. I want this thing. I kill their creatures, they gain a life and draw a card. It's so gross. Let's broaden your existence. That's an enchantment. I can't I can't turn it into a 3 3. It's an enchantment. It doesn't make doesn't make killing a, a gilded goose very appealing. So we'll just gain three life, trailer crumbs, get another card. <laughs> we need zero mana to destroy target permanent. I have a couple of trophies in here, but we, we cannot grab trophy off Trail of Crumbs. <clears throat> I guess my opponent's just kind of flooded out over there. They're not really doing anything. I could steal the geese. But the geese really that big of a deal? They don't seem like they're that big of a deal. I don't think my opponent really has much to do with these food except for just um, except for just gain three life. Oh, 
Oh dear. Magic's weird. This is just another like you know nice combo with Oko Cauldron Familiar. Just turn it into no. Hmm. Yeah, you know, turn it into a three-three where my opponent has to deal with it. And then we can. Um, bring it back afterwards. All right, so they can go to 14. I can do... Not that much. I can do 12. Thirteen. I can do thirteen. Um wait. I get fourteen. Okay. No, I can't get 14. All right, let's do... All right, let's just, let's just attack for nine. Oh, plus they gain, they gain, if these things die, they gain two life. So they would technically be at six, they could be at 16. to the feast. He said, why not steal geese? We didn't we didn't really have anything to steal geese with. I will be stealing this Midnight Reaper now. And finishing this game off. There we go. Trailer Crumbs was pretty awesome. Wicked Wolf and Murderous Rider. Well, I mean, Murderous Rider is definitely important. Wicked Wolf didn't look that important. Moldervine Reclamation. That card is really cool. I guess I don't really have anything for Moldervine Reclamation. I don't know, that's the thing. If they don't have World Moldervine Reclamation, then Wicked Wolf is awesome. Could play like one Krasis instead of one of them. No, I think I want the Wicked Wolves.
keep thinking this is like six mana for Aska, you know, like the minus three destroy an artifact enchantment or creature. It's just creature. Okay. Let's give this a try. Boo. That was not a good draw. That Cauldron Familiar looks good, but obviously we need mana. So there's only one land in there. So the bottom four cards are all land. So now we have 20... There's 24 in this deck, right? Yeah, there's 24 in the deck. So there's... Gross. That was a bad draw. So there's 22 more land in the next 46 cards. I guess I need a Murderous Rider, the Storev. surprised if we meet again that could not have gone worse well might as well just do that on my turn. GG opponent, GG. That's just too greedy for them. Right? I mean, I guess it's four haste. So even if I minus Liliana, that thing still kills me because I'm at exactly four. Yep. I played terribly against Veil of Summer. Oh, that's just a bad decision waiting because of Veil of Summer. I need to just kill Storov immediately. That will do it. Really good fast hand there. All right, so our, our deck... Our deck felt really close to being... Really close to being really good. Um, Trailer Crumbs actually looked pretty good. Um, in the long in the long games and everything, it it did. 
And Cauldron Familiar Witches Oven Oko worked out really well with Trail of Crumbs. Like that's just a great engine. Um, I think the the kind of pieces around it weren't so good. I think like like I needed better interaction. Basically, I, I need more murderous riders. Um, yeah, like basically, I need more interact. I need better interaction for the opponent. It kind of felt like Hydro Crisis was unnecessary. Our late game engine was already awesome. So like maybe play like have like four murderous riders over here. Um, because that was like a card that I always wanted. What is what is Nissa supposed to do? <clears throat> and then I think I probably just need like a Paradise Druid or two. I need I need just like a little bit more mana. You know, like I didn't have enough mana. Four trailer comes is probably a little overkill, but I wanted to I wanted to you know max out on it so we got to draw it more so we got to really see how it is. But yeah, this should probably be three trailer crumbs. So maybe get a, a couple of Paradise Druids in here. Um, another card that I think that we could have. be fine finality I'm not sure where I want fine finality I kind of want to play it main deck Golgari Queen Was good, but yeah, I, I think I think the deck needs a couple Paradise Druids. That that should help a bunch too, because that's what that's the <clears throat> that's like where I was bottlenecked most of the time was mana. I don't necessarily think I need to play more lands than just twenty four with having the four Once Upon a Times, and then also the Trail of Crumbs that help hit land drops and and everything. But I I think we need another accelerant. Um, where would this fine finality go? I don't really want to cut Liliana or Garrick. I mean, it fits nicely there, being a 15th. I think I don't want the sideboard Liliana, and instead I want a sideboard Vraska. Nebraska looked really good in different different times that I need more of it. I think that's a that's a better sideboard card there than the Liliana. Yeah. So I think we try this. I don't I kind of want this fine finality main, but I don't really want to get rid of these. Like, it'd be maybe get rid of, like, one rider, one wolf. I don't really want to get rid of those, though. And I wouldn't mind having the third Vraska main. Honestly, maybe maybe we just do that instead of this Liliana. Hmm. Liliana can be so good with Cauldron Familiar combo and everything, though. I think with getting rid of the Krasis, I, I think I want this... Liliana in here and, and Garrick is just awesome. Maybe it's just two trailer crumbs. Trailer crumbs was pretty cool though. But honestly we're we're just moving away from trailer crumbs at that point. We'll just try it like this. For the next time. Like this this should help out a lot. So we're bit, you know, so we're just we're just Golgari Splash Oko at this point. Um I could have counter magic in the sideboard. That's that's another route for the sideboard instead of just having all veil and, and grasp. Um which honestly may be a better option than especially than having all of these noxious grasps if we, you know, with getting extra murderous riders in here and everything. Um maybe want three trophy, three grasp, just kind of in general anyway, so we can have another removal spell against like these uh just random permanents that are around kind of thing um but yeah so it could could have some kind of counter magic also 
could also have discard between drill bit, drill bit, thought erasure, that kind of stuff too. Other options for the sideboard there, but um, the engine was really, really powerful, and I think that these changes could help clean up around the edge of uh, how I, I didn't have, I wasn't, I, I was stuck on mana a lot and I didn't have good enough removal. And so I think getting in Paradise Druids, Murderous Riders, chopping off some of the top end, you know, chopping off like the crises that we didn't need, that could be, um, that could be a, a good thing there. So, all right, Golgari Oko. <laughs> But yeah, that's Soul Type Food. So this this was pretty pretty fun to play. Trail of Crumbs looked good. Um, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also leave some comments. Let me know what you think of Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, Oko, Trail of Crumbs, all of that added together, that food combo over there. Um, yeah, there's just two Fable Passage down here besides the four. There's the four Breeding Pool, two Fable Passage. That's the rest of the lands down there. Um, all right. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, please check out um, my Patreon page, patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. If you'd like to help support over there, I would really, really appreciate that. Just three bucks a month. Okay, but that's it here for Soul Food. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.